I often call cyber the soft underbelly of our space enterprise, given the novel attack surface that we create with these global networks that extend out to geosynchronous orbit. And we've got a lot of cyber expertise at US Space Command. Of course, Cybercom gives us 16th Air Force from the US Air Force as our Joint Force Headquarters Cyber, but also our Navy and Marine Corps space components are also dual-hatted as their cyber components. So we're getting after cyber, and we're making a lot of progress, and, and that includes the great work of the Space Force to get after the defensive elements of cyber. But we still have more work to do. There's more terrain that needs to be covered. We need to continue to work how to leverage offensive cyber for our purposes. Now, a critical combatant command function is going through your planning process and identifying all your critical assets. And once you've identified all your critical assets, then determining what your defended assets are based on your protect and defend capability. Well, for the first time ever this year, our critical asset list now includes commercial and allied capabilities that we rely on as part of this unique space team that we're all a part of. That's part of our UCP requirements to protect and defend commercial and allied when directed, so that was an important step. We have more work to do to refine that, but I'm proud of the team that has uh, stepped out in that direction.